In this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the IP address of the phone system via the web browser. I'll be assuming you have installer level access or been given admin level access with the correct permissions. So of course you need to know the initial IP address of the phone system. By default it's 192.168.0.101 or if you need to locate the IP address of the phone system I'll link a video in the description below. Hopefully it helps you out. Or you can just search for it on my channel. Alright, so I'm assuming you found the IP address and you're on the login page. So smash that like button and let's log in. I'll be logging in with admin level credentials just to make things easier to follow. So once you're in, on the left hand side, click on network service. And then IP address slash ports. If you cannot see this memory block, then you just need to get your dealer to unlock it on your admin account. So once you've selected or been given a static IP address, we can just change it here, like so. So we'll just make this a 15. And then we can even add a secondary DNS. Also very important, don't forget to scroll down and fill out the DSP IP settings. That requires a valid static IP as well. Otherwise, no IP device will have audio. Now you may notice DSP card 2 has a blank MAC address, meaning there's no DSP card 2 installed on the system. Just put a valid IP address in there, just in case you need it in the future. Quick tip, just make sure you've got everything entered correctly before you go any further. Might save a few headaches after you reboot the system. So once you're sure, click the OK button. Then you'll get a warning saying this will all be saved but you need to reboot the system make sure you've got a backup and if you're not sure how to take a backup just look for the video in my channel if you're getting any value so far just smash that like button really helps me out all right now we'll just hit ok so because we hit ok to save it it closes the window so we'll go up the top right and click on the hammer now back onto the left you go to system control system reset and once you're in here, you click on backup. So it's very important to backup the data before you do a reboot. If you press skip, that means you wanna replace the database with a previous database. So you don't wanna do that yet. So once the system backs up, it'll ask you, are you sure you wanna reset it? You click okay. Then it asks you, are you very sure? You click okay. Now the system will restart. System restarts usually take about three minutes. A good test to see if you can see the system when it comes back up is to ping it. Run a continuous ping on the network for it. Now, of course, you want to ping the new IP address, not the old one, right? Now, again, if you do not see any of these options on your admin login, just reach out to your dealer and ask them to unlock it for you. Some may not want to. If they don't want to unlock the system reset, you can just go to the system and physically reset it takes about three minutes for it to come back up. Just make sure you've hit the floppy disk up the top when you're logged in, just to make sure you've saved the running config of the phone system. All right, so once you see the phone system responding on this ping, then you can log back into it and you're done. Okay, hopefully this video was useful. Hope you can like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Take care.